What if I told you the Philippines might hold the key to powering the next century of global technology? Beneath its palm-lined beaches lies something far more valuable, a treasure trove of rare earth elements. These aren't your typical metals, they're essential for smartphones, electric vehicles, and AI chips. As the world shifts to renewable energy, demand for these materials is skyrocketing. Surprisingly, the Philippines could emerge as a major global supplier. But can the country balance this opportunity with sustainability? Let's uncover the truth behind this high-stakes story. The Philippines is rich in natural resources, but recent findings reveal it's sitting on some of the world's most promising rare earth deposits. These minerals are crucial for advanced technologies and have been found in high concentrations across provinces like Arawan Beach and Samar. This isn't just about quantity, it's about diversity. Yttrium, terbium, europium, and dysprosium are all here, vital for clean energy and semiconductors. With both light and heavy rare earths present, the Philippines has a unique geological advantage in a tech-driven world. What's fascinating is the geographic spread. Rich deposits across multiple islands offer flexibility and resilience against supply shocks. This positions the Philippines to play a central role in global supply chains, potentially rivaling even China in certain sectors. The discovery of rare earths in the Philippines could change everything in the global supply chain race. Right now, China controls over 80% of the rare earth market, leaving many nations dependent on one source. But with new reserves in the Philippines, we have a viable alternative. This is crucial, especially with trade tensions and supply chain vulnerabilities on the rise. Rare earths are essential for national defense and tech development, and they shouldn't be monopolized. Countries like the US, Japan, and Australia are eager to partner with the Philippines for access to these materials. Plus, the Philippines is perfectly located in Southeast Asia, making it a logistical hub for export and processing. If developed wisely, it could become a regional powerhouse for critical minerals. Rare earth elements might sound obscure, but they power the devices we use every day. Smartphones rely on them for vibration motors and screens. Electric vehicles need them for efficient motors and long-lasting batteries. Wind turbines require them to generate clean energy. With AI and smart tech growing rapidly, demand for these resources will only rise. Each wind turbine can contain up to 600 kilodollars of rare earth materials. EV batteries use dysprosium and neodymium to boost performance. Even green technologies like solar panels and hydrogen fuel cells depend on these elements. With the global transition to net zero carbon goals by 2050, the world craves a steady supply. If the Philippines can develop these resources sustainably, it could become a key player in clean energy and digital innovation. It's not just about digging up rocks, it's about shaping the future. Imagine an industry that could generate billions in revenue and create hundreds of thousands of jobs. That's the potential of rare earth mining in the Philippines. Conservative estimates suggest the country's reserves could be worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Beyond extraction, processing, logistics, and support industries would all see a boom. Communities near mining zones could benefit from better infrastructure, schools, and healthcare. This sector could become a national economic engine, lifting entire regions out of poverty. The government stands to gain significantly through taxes and royalties from exports. If processing plants are developed locally, the Philippines can climb up the value chain instead of just shipping raw materials overseas. Of course, the story isn't all golden. Rare earth mining comes with serious environmental implications. Extraction often uses toxic chemicals, and the waste can be radioactive. If not handled properly, mining can lead to water contamination, soil degradation, and damage to biodiversity. In the Philippines, where many communities depend on fishing, farming, and tourism, environmental damage would be catastrophic. Previous mining disasters have left deep scars, creating mistrust and resistance among local populations. Communities fear the costs may outweigh the gains. If the Philippines is to embrace rare earth mining, it must be with strict environmental safeguards and cutting-edge clean mining technologies. It's the only way to ensure that progress doesn't come at the cost of nature or livelihoods. Mining can either uplift communities or displace them. In the Philippines, where indigenous groups and rural farmers make up a large portion of the population, inclusive development is essential. 
any plan that overlooks the voices of those directly affected is bound to spark conflict. Social equity must be at the heart of this movement. This includes free, prior and informed consent from local communities, fair compensation and long-term investment in education, health and infrastructure. The people living above these resources should be the first to benefit from their extraction. By adopting a community-first approach, the Philippines can avoid the mistakes of past projects and create a blueprint for ethical, inclusive development that other nations might follow. Rare earths are no longer just economic assets, they're strategic levers. In today's geopolitical climate, countries controlling these materials gain influence and bargaining power. That's why nations are racing to secure supply chains viewing them as a matter of national security. The Philippines can leverage its rare earth reserves to build stronger alliances. Countries aiming to reduce reliance on China will see the Philippines as a key partner. This could lead to new trade agreements, defense partnerships, and tech investments. Being a supplier of critical materials enhances a nation's global standing. For the Philippines, this is a chance to raise its profile on the world stage. It's about fostering international cooperation in science, security, and sustainability. Thankfully, mining doesn't have to be dirty. Innovations in biotech and AI are reshaping how we extract and process rare earths. Bacteria-based extraction methods and automated systems are reducing our environmental footprint. International research collaborations are isolating elements without harsh chemicals. Filipino scientists are leading the way in creating a sustainable mining future. The Philippines could become a center for innovation in clean mining tech. Investing in clean technologies from day one can help us leapfrog older methods. Let's make the Philippines a role model for responsible mining worldwide. The Philippine government is at the forefront of a crucial transformation. With the right policies, we can ensure that rare earth mining brings long-term benefits to our nation. This means transparent permitting, strict environmental laws, and partnerships that prioritize innovation and equity. We're already making progress. Discussions on sustainable mining are underway, and R&D funding is increasing. Engaging with foreign investors is gaining momentum, but the real challenge lies in implementation. Smart governance will determine whether we experience a fleeting mining boom or build a lasting economic legacy. The decisions we make today will shape our nation's future for decades to come. The rare earth story in the Philippines is more than geology. It's about energy, economy, equality, and ecology. It's about building a sustainable, tech-powered future while safeguarding the communities and natural beauty that make the Philippines unique. If done right, the Philippines could become a global model for ethical resource development, feeding the world's digital transformation while uplifting its own people. The key is to balance ambition with responsibility, ensuring that the riches beneath the soil lead to prosperity above it. At the crossroads of opportunity and risk, the Philippines holds a rare chance to shape its destiny. By leading with innovation, sustainability, and community-first policies, it can turn hidden minerals into national progress and inspire a new era of global partnerships for a cleaner, fairer future. If this story inspired you or even made you think, don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more powerful insights like this. Your voice matters. Let's keep this conversation going and let's grow together.